All right, so what I have here is the spot on GPS fence. And if you've done your uh, any research at all, I think, on GPS dog fences, this is the Cadillac of GPS dog fences. Uh, there are definitely similar products out there. You know, at least a number of them also use GPS. But when it comes to basically, you know, this type of product, there really is no better than the spot on. Let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. Before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and ask if you wouldn't mind, it would mean the world to us if you could like our video um, if you're, you're interested in content like this or, or other dog content um, if you could subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with with what's new that would be hugely helpful to us yeah and if you have any questions about this video or you know if there's if there's any uh, sort of comments and any, anything you want to contribute love to hear what you have to say so if you could just leave us a comment uh, below we, we'd love to hear from you so let's hop into it live life unleashed yeah made it made it well assembled in America uh, and who wouldn't like that this designed and assembled in America. So let's see what's inside. So yeah, I mean, this is a lot of the, the use cases for this. Um, oh, I'm gonna get that in a second. So here's what we have. This is the collar. So you can see it's a nice sturdy product. Here's the, the belt buckle. It does have a range of sizes. Um, however, um, you do want to be kind of um, a bit precise in measuring your dog's neck when you order the collar because it is available now in uh, small, medium, and large. Uh, so you want to make sure you're getting the right size for your dog. Um, that said, you can see that, that this, this does accommodate a range of sizes. Um, and let's see, this is, um, yeah, so I mean, this is where Basically, the brains are going on in here. There's a the little power, there's a power button here. This is a nice sort of silicone um, cover here, I would say, which is, you know, it's gonna keep it from getting too scuffed. Um, anything, you know, along those lines, it's not gonna get all that scratched or anything, I would imagine, um, just from sort of general perception of how it's built. Um, so we're gonna clip that in here and we'll just, we'll just kind of just want to mention a few things or a few cases uh, as I started to do earlier um, where this is like a really useful product um, so like if you have a large yard I mean this is going to be hugely beneficial absolutely um, you can sort of keep an eye on your dog make sure they're not um, wandering too far off of your property or kind of staying you know where you would like them to be in your property um, this is a, a, a great um, thing to have when you go camping, for example. Um, and, you know, like dogs that have a high prey drive, a lot of people um, like to use this collar in that situation. But basically, one thing I really want to kind of highlight, like right off the bat, is, you know, there is a lot of training involved um, to use a product like this. It's not something you just, you know, put on your dog's neck and, and let them run away, you know, run around and, and hope for the best. You do want to make sure that your dog kind of um, is accustomed to this before you sort of let them run free. Um, and you know, Spot On, the, the team at Spot On really has a lot of resources out there to help you with that. So they can get you up and running, um, you know, and, and, and it's definitely something to consider. Um, you don't want to just kind of use this as a plug and play solution and kind of depend on the negative reinforcement aspect to, to get your dog, you know, used to, you know, using the fence. You do want to make sure you're kind of going through the, the proper uh, motions and, and making sure your dog understands how this all works um, before you before you let them run, uh, run free. That said, um, once that's up and running, what makes Spot On different? Well, this thing, in terms of accuracy, it just, it blows the competition out of the water. The GPS dog fences, they have, you know, sort of different ways of working, but this one in particular, it, it's talking with a network of, I think, like 30 satellites at one time, or potentially at one time, not all of them necessarily, you know, are, are up and running. I think it's, yeah, t maybe 25 to 30, something along, along those lines. But um, they do have a, a number of patents actually pr uh, protecting the technology going on in here. It, it's not really just kind of run-of-the-mill GPS technology. Um, so that's, you know, something to consider as well. Um, but what really sets Spot On apart from, you know, other products out there is is the accuracy that you're going to get with this um, with this collar. It's uh, it's it's pretty incredible. Um, if, you're, if you look through their website and see sort of how they break it down, um, there's a lot going on inside of here. So let's take a look further in the box. They give us a user guide here. I'm sure full of 
helpful information. The spot on team is really, really great. These are the prongs here. There are a couple of sizes. So that's, I'm guessing, oh, having a hard time. So that's one size, and th this is the smaller size. Um, and basically what you're gonna wanna do is, should you decide to use um, these, these prongs, you're gonna wanna choose the right size uh, based on, um, you know, how well the collar fits your dog's neck and also basically how thick their fur is. Um, but uh, I guess you, you don't even necessarily have to, to use these at all. It does have, you know, methods of correction um, without the prongs. And also it does just work, you know, sort of as a tracker as well. They, they do come with it. Um, and this is a tool here to help fasten those on. It, the prong basically fits into here um, and you would go ahead and you probably start that by hand uh, and then use the tool really just to tighten. So this would go on here. And then you can just sort of tighten until snug. Um, and I'm sure the user manual gives sort of all the, uh, the specifics and details there as well. Uh, I'm just gonna remove this for now. Um, actually, let's leave this on and I'll, I'll go ahead and put the other one on as well to see how it fits in the charger block. All right, that's snug enough by hand for these purposes. Of course, if I was gonna use this long term, um, it might just you know snug it down a little bit better than I just did there. So what we have here, this is the charger block. Uh, it looks like this is uh, probably USB-C. Yep, USB-C, excellent. So that would plug into here. Yeah, so these, um, there are some contacts here. Those line up with these contacts here. So I'm guessing this goes on like this. I think I had it upside down and that fits in nice and snug. So now I know it's, it's going the right way. Um, and then what do we have here? This is the USB-C cable, which you'll want to use uh, to plug it into you know, either a power block or I suppose you could use your computer. Um, and this is the, uh, the included power block here. So you do have everything you need to get up and running right off the bat. Uh, of course, USB is fairly standard, um, so, you know, um, you can do what you would like. Um, so that's that's what's inside the box here. Just going to break this on down. I mean, I do like that this is a, a nice and snug fit. You can see, I'm uh, just off screen, but it's in there pretty, pretty, you know, nice and nice and good. It's not going to come undone undesirably on you. Um, and at the same time, you know, this is, is well enough designed that if you want to get it out, it comes right out. So, you know, battery life is uh, pretty good on these, uh, comparable to sort of what you would expect with other, uh, other products out there. Um, another thing to, to keep in mind, and, and actually another place where, you know, Spot On really shines, is that um, like a lot of the other GPS systems, you do sometimes um, need to, the cellular network, and they offer um, basically with three different providers. Um, I can't remember. I don't want to, you know, start quoting them all to mention, you know, just to, to I don't want to get them wrong on the video here. Um, but they do have, I believe, um, you know, they definitely have more options um, than than other uh, fences out there, which is it's just pretty cool. So let's just see what happens when we press this power button here. And I may need to charge it. I'm not sure. Um, but let's see. Oh, there it is. Nope. I'm guessing it comes with a little charge and it's ready to pair, which, you know, maybe we'll run through set up in another video. But, you know, it's a pretty cool product. You know, it's definitely, again, make sure you're getting the right size for your dog. Uh, that's very important um, so that, you know, the collar will fit around their neck uh, appropriately. It's not too heavy, I wouldn't say. Um, obviously, you're going to want to get the right size for your dog's neck. Let's see here, just for reference, you know, a lot of these GPS collars are, are bigger than you might expect in real person, in real life, but as opposed to what you see on the internet, I'm just trying to find a Bic pen here. Here's a standard Bic pen, just to give you an idea um, on, on reference size. This isn't too bad as far as these collars go. And uh, it definitely seems like it's, it's built fairly durably. Um, and I, I think it'll sort of weather the storm, so to speak. So, um, yeah, there's certainly a lot more to know about the spot on, but that's that's a basic, you know, a basic overview of what you can expect when you open up the box. Anyway, I hope you find that helpful. I'll include a link in, in the uh, description of this video where you can get this collar at the best price. Um, and also, there are a number. We have another number of similar videos on our channel talking about spot on um, in uh, some different contexts and. Uh, 
we're gonna try to make more and more um, now that we now that we have one in our hands here. So um, put some links in the description uh, there um, so that you can can take a further look at, and get to know the spot on more. At any rate, I hope you found this helpful. If you did find this video helpful, it'd be great if you if you could like it. And if there's any questions that we can answer for you, we're happy happy to do that. Please leave some please leave us a comment, and we'll get to you you know as soon as we can. Thanks for watching the Pamper Pup, and have a great day. Mm-hmm.